Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're gonna be taking a look at Square Online doing a Square Online store review Taking a look at the pricing pros and cons alternatives and really all the features that you need to know When you're considering getting started with Square with their Square Online store, which is a free E-commerce website builder so you can build out a completely free e-commerce website with Square and Square Online So that's what we're gonna be diving into here in today's video and if you do want to check out Square online or get started today you can go and check out those first links down below in the video description box again some of which are affiliate links which can be a great way to help out and support the channel that's brandonvaleski.com forward slash square it will take you right over square where you can get started with square today for free uh, without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the review now i have talked a lot about square here on the channel i do recommend them to a lot of small business owners for their wide variety of free business tools uh, ultimately they do have a lot of good um tools for small business owners looking to get started maybe they're brand new beginner you're on a smaller budget square can be an excellent option for that in addition they also have this e-commerce website builder as well now if you do want to check out my tutorial uh, on their actual builder I do have that link down below in the video description so you can go ahead and check out the tutorial as well uh, if you do decide to maybe want to go with them or just get a feel for the platform now doing an overview of their overall features and what I think about Square Online. I do think in general it is a really good budget friendly option for a lot of people getting started. In terms of what Square Online includes and who it's built for, uh, it is built primarily for retail store owners. Now Square as a platform uh, does cater a lot to people who have a brick and mortar business. Say for example you also sell in person uh, but you can also build out a website here where you can accept and manage orders online as well as your in-store brick and mortar business uh, from your square point of sale systems where you can then process those credit cards in person um, they also have this square online store feature where they do also give you uh, a free store you also do get a few different templates we'll be diving into the themes and templates and things that you get into it uh, in just a moment uh, but you're able to then sell you know the same types of products that you sell in person on your online store you're able to set up listings and start selling those products online as well which can make it easier for your customers to purchase those products uh, now obviously they have a, a website themes and you can utilize a variety of different themes to get your business started um, you're also able to set up multiple locations you know staff management customer data now certain features within Square Online are available just on the pro plan. We'll be taking a look at plans and pricing in just a little bit later in this video. I did just want to give a general overview of what they offer. Uh, so you are able to sync directly to your Square Point of Sale system like I was alluding to. Uh, so you can manage online and in-store sales from just that single system. Uh, now I did mention that this is primarily for retail businesses here, but they do also actually service restaurants as well with an online ordering system uh, as part of the Square Online setup. So if you are a restaurant as well, this could be still a good e-commerce option for you uh, to allow your customers to also do online ordering um, and order actual food from your business as well. So I did also want to mention that too. It's not just for retail. It does also include uh, restaurants as well. And that's one of the things I do like about Square in general is that they really do cater to a much wider variety of different types of businesses. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later as to maybe who is Square is best for or not best for. Um, but that is one thing I do like. We put that on the pro list for Square and Square Online in general is that, that you, depending on you know what type of industry you're in, they really do have a lot of different products and services that can cater specifically to your industry. Um, as you can see here, these are certain products like such as their marketing and payroll are additional add-ons that you would have to pay extra for, uh, but they do have those as additional add-ons. And you can also create a custom online shopping experience. As you can see, this is sort of what the checkout process would look like, secure checkout by Square. Um, so they really have taken, honestly, a page out of Shopify's book, in my opinion, uh, in terms of the overall checkout process. It does look pretty good on Square. It's definitely improved a lot over the recent years. Um, so so it can be a still a pretty good uh, option, especially if you're maybe looking at other e-commerce platforms and you're looking for something on a little bit more of a budget, or maybe if you already have a brick and mortar business that uses Square, maybe you just set up a Square website and 
then it all syncs together. That would just make the most sense, in my opinion, if you've already gotten started, uh, if you're not just a complete brand new beginner. Um, but you can offer your own custom app, as you can see here with that example there. You also don't have to necessarily. You can just set up a website. Um, as well, and you can create, you know, as you can see, a variety of different uh, types of collections and product lists and things like that as well. Uh, you're able to offer, of course, shipping, free in-store pickup, as well as the local delivery. Um, you can also offer a variety of different payment methods. Now, Square is also a payment processor, if you did not know. Um, so they do also offer just Square payment processing, which allows your customers to pay with like Visa or MasterCard, um, typical credit card payment processing. Uh, and then you, they also allow you to do uh, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and Cash App, as well as Afterpay. The Afterpay does come at an additional cost to you. Um, to offer that to your customers because it's a little bit higher risk. So do just bear that in mind. Um, you're also to, uh, given built-in SEO tools. So you can set up like Google My Business pages and link right to your Square store, um, which is nice, especially if you are a local business with the brick and mortar side. Honestly, that's probably the person that Square Online makes the most sense for is if you are a local business as well. You're maybe not just purely an online store, maybe not just purely an online business, but you also have some sort of brick and mortar attachment or, um, you know, physical location for your business. That's where Square definitely makes the most sense. Uh, you're also able to set up like loyalty programs and the uh, marketing and promos. Now I will say the loyalty and marketing do come at an additional cost. So that is something to consider. We'll be getting into that in just a moment. Um, they do also have uh, gift cards that you can do too. Um, as you can see, you can start for free and upgrade at any time and all pay plans come with a free custom domain. Um, so you're able to get started on their free plan for $0 and you're just going to be paying the payment processing fee, um, which ultimately, you know, that payment processing fee, as you can see here, pretty industry standard for a lot of cases. It might be a little bit more expensive slightly than some other options out there, but honestly, it's pretty comparable in my opinion. Um, and then depending on if you are processing a higher amount of sales volume or if you're on a premium plan, you can get discounted payment processing, um, which you should because you're going to be paying a higher monthly fee um, outside of the free plan. So um, again, their free plan is really powerful for that entry price of the low, low zero dollars. Um, and their paid plan is maybe not necessarily as worth it. We'll get into that with the plans and pricing at that $29 starting fee. Um, we'll get, again, we'll get into that in just a moment here. Uh, so that's generally what Square Online has to offer. Uh, in terms of plans and pricing, let's go ahead and just get through this part here. Uh, they have the free version. Obviously, as I mentioned, that is a huge selling point for a lot of people is because they actually do have a completely free version. It's not a free trial. It is just a completely free version. And they're able to offer that because they make money on the back end through the payment processing fees and uh, charging on the per transaction fees. Uh, you do get a basic website builder with the SEO tools and things like that. You're able to sell on social media, uh, multiple different like payment types and really everything that you would need for a basic online store. Now, when you're getting out of the whole basic online store setup and you're looking at the plus and premium plans of Square Online, in my opinion, it's maybe not necessarily as amazing of a value, but it could still make sense for you if you're already in the Square ecosystem and you sort of just want to keep things like kind of similar and just like streamline your overall uh, setup within Square. So the difference here with the plus plan is that you're able to get, you know, better website themes. You're basically just stuck with a traditional website builder um, with the free plan that you're able to, so you're still able to customize it, but you don't get the same level of themes as you would on the plus plan. As you can see, customizable themes are included in the plus plan. Uh, if you do want the customizable themes, you are given a very basic bare bones uh, site, which you can still edit and drag and drop and customize on the free plan. Uh, but you're not getting, you know, all these types of like super well um, customized and designed types of website designs that you would be getting on like, as you can see, this is what the free plan basic, you know, square site would look like, which honestly, in my opinion, isn't too bad. You can still customize it and change out the brand colors and things like that, that you would want to do anyway. You're just given a lot more of a basic site from the beginning versus being given like a much bigger, um, 
you know, you get a free basic site, you don't get a free templated, you know, themed out site. So that's something to consider. Again, you can still edit the other version, but you're not getting something that's kind of like ready to go out the box um, with the free version compared to the plus version. Uh, in addition to that, on the plus version, you're able to get QR code ordering, which is something that's very popular, especially for like restaurants, or maybe if you are a retail business and you just want to get people to your website too, they can also do that as well. They can set up customer accounts, personalized ordering, um, advanced items such as like, you know, certain time-based categories, product drops. This would be more for like certain types of discounts. Uh, you do also get a free domain for a year and you're able to offer subscriptions to your customers. Um, so really the other thing too with the plus plan is you're able to then, um, you know, you get all those features, um, which is a bit more loyal. Again, the personalized ordering comes down to like loyalty and things like that. More loyalty programs. You know, if you don't necessarily need that, the free plan is honestly just fine for a lot of people on Square. Uh, you can always upgrade to the plus plan later. Uh, but the thing for me and, and why I kind of wanted to leave a caveat there is that at $29 a month, currently as the time of making today's video, these are the pricing, visit the pricing page to get, page to get the most realistic and up-to-date pricing. This is just a disclaimer that this is the pricing that currently exists, is that at that price point of the plus plan at $29 a month, it's pretty much the same price as the Shopify plans at the annual price, which in my opinion, like if you're going to be paying for a plus plan at that point, um, in my opinion, it'd probably be better just to go for like a Shopify basic plan. That's just, uh, you know, in my opinion, if you're going to be paying, you do get a lot more on a Shopify basic plan uh, than you do with like the Square um, plus plan, you know, comparatively for that price point. Um, that's just my opinion. You know, uh, I, I like both platforms still, but that's just something to consider. Um, if you are a retail business and you're really going to have a good solid online presence, um, but if you're not, and if you're in the restaurant category or if you're in the service industry, Square actually still probably does make more sense than, than, you know, going to Shopify. If you're planning on spending that plus pricing point, um, it still would probably be better to go with like Square Online in that case. I did just want to make that quick alternative comparison as well, um, just in my opinion. Now, the premium plan really is a lot more for the lower payment processing rate. Um, and if you're and you're going to uh, alleviate some of the delivery fees and some of the custom shipping rates, that makes a lot more sense as you plan to scale your store. Uh, and you, know, you don't really get a whole lot more um, with the premium plan other than just scaling with better rates is really the main thing, in my opinion, um, that you do get the premium plan on Square Online. Now, one of the other perks to Square Online as well, uh, in addition to just the, the, the free plan, especially on the pricing, is that they really do cater to a wider variety of businesses. So you're also able, and when I say that, you're also able to get access to all the other types of things that you can add to your Square Online store. This also includes invoicing. Uh, this includes payment links, uh, payroll if you wanted to as well. Um, you're also to add, able to add their appointments POS system, so you're able to book appointments on your website as well. I know you may see that here with like book now uh, on this template here. Um, so you can also set up bookings as well. So like if you're in the service industry where you have a salon or something, it still makes the most sense to go with Square Online because you're able to set up the appointments directly through Square. You don't need any extra third-party apps. It's all just in the Square ecosystem. You're, you're able to set up appointments and sell those services as well as sell the physical products. Or if you're a restaurant, you're also able to sell food. So you really do get a wider variety of the types of products that you can sell on a platform like Square Online, honestly, then compared to Shopify and even compared to most other types of online stores because Square really does cater to such a wide variety of different types of businesses. Um, you're able to sell just a wider variety of products and it, it does fit for more people, um, especially if you're in the brick and mortar space. Now, if you are going to be selling just primarily online and you're looking to be maybe a larger size retail operation and maybe you don't even have a brick and mortar location, then you know Shopify still actually might make more sense for you in that case. Um, as just another quick comparison, because they are honestly, in my opinion, one of the best e-commerce platforms, um, then they still might make more sense for people who are looking to scale because at the same time, Square is not 
as scalable for larger inventories. The other downside with uh, another con to Square Online as well is that they don't really have a blogging system. So you're not able to do as much like SEO content marketing with Square Online. It's really more built around brick and mortar and then linking people from social media um, or from a Google business page, like your brick and mortar location, you can link to your Square site. Um, but if you're planning on doing alternative marketing methods, um, again, that's another area where Squ uh, Square Online does kind of fall flat a little bit in that respect um, in terms of, you know, doing other types of content marketing uh, on your Square website. So, you know, you're basically able to just set up your products and your pages. You don't really have the, the same kind of like blocking functionality. Um, you can still set up like an about us page and things like that, but it's not necessarily the same as like a Shopify or even a WordPress and WooCommerce situation um, by comparison. Uh, but I still really do like Square Online ultimately at the end of the day. I do think that they are a really good option and a considering that they have a completely free version as well that you can get started with by creating your website. Um, I still do recommend them to a lot of people, just maybe honestly on the more beginner, smaller scale operation side of things, um, especially in retail, um, or they're really great for restaurants as well, or people that are going to be doing appointment booking uh, as well, just because they do have all those products kind of built into the Square ecosystem, um, especially if you're going to be doing invoices as well for customers or setting up payment links. Like in addition to the online store, you also have more flexibility for those uh, ultimately those other types of commerce options. Uh, and is a pretty affordable setup uh, when you're looking at it on a monthly fee cost. If you're just going to be paying the payment processing fees, that's really all you got to look at is when, you know, at the end of the day, you're just paying what you payment, what you process in payments, uh, even if you are, if you are just deciding to go with the completely free version. Uh, so guys, I hope you found this review video helpful. Taking a look at the pros, cons, features, and a little bit of alternative comparisons as well um, for Square Online. Again, if you do want to get started with Square Online, you can go and check out those links down below in the video description. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash square. We'll take you right over to Square. Uh, and if you do want to check out the tutorial as well, I will leave a link to that YouTube video in the video description as well. If you do want a more step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get started uh, with Square Online, showing you sort of what the back end and what it actually looks like on the inside. So guys, if you found this video helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway guys, that's all for today's video and I'll see you in the next one.